Hello everyone, it's Lushan. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for the support and I'd be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And also click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, I truly wanna interact with you, so please leave your comments down below and um, let's uh, get our YouTube friendship going. So in today's video, I will be doing an update on my debt snowball for the month of January. And also I'm going to just do a quick little showing of the new layout that I'm gonna use because the this first layout that I use, the current layout, just doesn't work for me for everything that I wanna capture and track. So. Um, without any more uh, rambling, let's get into the video. Okay, as per usual, I am utilizing the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner for um, all of my budgeting needs. And uh, let's go ahead and turn to the section where I um, initially did my uh, debt tracker page again I I love these stickers from Shade Budgets love her she's my girl love her stuff love her uh, her channel if you haven't checked out her channel it's it's really good and um, I love this stuff she's uh, kicking out from her Etsy shop as well however for me the the header, the washi header, really just doesn't capture everything that I need for the debt snowball. So I'm gonna use it to go ahead and update, but I'm gonna be filling in some additional things that are not a part of the header, so just kinda ignore that. But I need to put it down because I'll need, I, I really wanna track it in a way that I'm capturing everything, not just you know, paying off the debt because when you, you're still paying on your credit cards, you still have your finance charges. There may be annual fees. You may have to use it for whatever reason. So you, you want to be able to track all of those things that those occurrences that may happen um, in the month. Not saying it's going to happen every month, but we know finances, finance charges will if it's a card that does not have a zero um, interest promotion going on. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into the numbers. And let me bring you guys in a little bit. So as I had said when I initially did this, I wanted to separate my snowballs. I wanted to have my consumer debt and then my student loan debt. So um, I'm still going to have that same premise in the new layout. Um, as well, but again, like I said, I'm gonna track it uh, a lot differently. It's gonna be more in depth with the tracking. Okay, so as uh, you all know, I did pay off my cell phones. So that's done and um, for my Capital One, uh, my minimum payment was the $72. And then the finance charge, um, which I, I paid the $72. And then the finance charge was $22.96. Um, and then I had, um, so that was, that was minus and then that was plus. And then a minus, the uh, additional payment was the 500 that I put towards it. And that left me in a remaining balance of four fifty ninety six. Um, American Express. Um, I paid the one twenty eight oh four. This is a card that is right now promotionally uh, promotional zero um, finance charge till April. So I have to really like get this one. As soon as this is done, really get on this one. So it's done before the promotion ends. So this was that with uh, no finance charge. So 
The balance is $1,301.82. Um, synchrony was the $56. And again, this is another zero interest, zero interest card. So that balance is $25.88 even. Uh, my second Capital One card, the minimum due was the 106 plus the finance charge of 72.17. So that balance now is 3,341.85. Uh, my personal loan came out uh, 139 plus the interest charge of $17.29. So that balance is now $3,658.03. Um, now my American Express goal, y'all know the whole deal about that if you've been watching my previous videos. Um, but some of this stuff is December stuff, so yeah, so don't come at me, y'all. All right, so the minimum payment was the $177.82, and then um these charges these are some like december charges and then like um i had to buy this camera that i'm using right now because my phone was not cutting it so it was like a combination i used gift cards for from the holidays and the remainder of i put on the card and then also um i forgot about the annual fee um of $195 so that is all a part of the new charges on here and that's $756.44 and then the finance charge of $103.99 so the balance is $6,473.24 but I'm gonna get it, y'all. I promise. I haven't used the car since Christmas time, so we should be okay. Um, and then my last personal loan um, was the um, Compass, and that was twenty-one. The balance was twenty-one thousand nine ninety four eighty-three. I paid seven fifteen fifty-three. And then plus the char uh, interest charge is two eighty four sixty seven. So I currently owe twenty one five sixty three ninety seven. I want to double check that to be sure. Big number. Just to be sure, 83 minus 715, 53 plus 284.67. Yes, that's correct. 21.563.97. So that is for my debt snowball um, number one. So you can see why uh, this washi header does not really work for what I want to capture. Um, so my new debt total for snowball number one is, and we'll add this up quickly, 96 plus 1301.82 plus 25.88 plus 3341.85 plus 3658.03 plus 6473.24 plus 21563.97. So my new total for debt snowball one is 39,278.87 minus what I originally owed of 4223. Point eleven. So 
but I have $945.24 that has come off of my debt for Snowball One. And then, now that's what has come off as far as principal balances, but of course I've paid more because you have finance charges and all of that. So that's really why I wanna track it. I wanna know the true amount that I have put towards um, the debt is because it's not just the principal you're still paying finance charges or whatever charges that may happen so you want to really see exactly how much money you truly 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 put into um that particular debt and hopefully it's like an eye opener so you like you know never want to do it again or or don't want to do it as frequently or as much as you have done at least for me in, in my case I, i'm not going to project to anyone else but in my case i want to i want that eye opener slap in the face to even though i know it i i know better um so but still it's good to have it written down so you can turn back and look and see so there's that so now with debt snowball number two which is student loan debt um again i want to track it the same way so I paid $30, the minimum amount here, um, but the finance charge was $61.66, of course. So I'm going to change the way I do my two ed finance, how I pay these two, because really the minimum payments they give you, it doesn't cover much of anything. So I'm going to have to adjust those. Um, so I'm going to sit down and figure out how I want to do those. But for now, this balance is 423166. Um the Mahela, I paid the 60 and actually it was I paid 59, I'm sorry. 5945. I just actually just rounded those to make it easy. Um and then this 1749. So the balance on that is 5,81403. And here I paid 7055. And the finance charges, the interest is two twenty-three dollars and seventy-nine cents, and I owe six thousand six eighty four thirty five on that one and the last one um i paid 115 but the interest payment or interest amount is 141.39 so now you all can understand why i gotta change i mean the minimum payment they tell you is is you're gonna forever be paying it so i gotta it I have to make that adjustment so at least something is is covering the accrued interest and a little something is coming off the balance so I got I have to I have to reassess how I do that so that leaves one eleven thousand three seventy six thirty nine for that so um and I did add those up. So that comes out to 28106.43. And I paid $30.67 towards that. So you can see pretty much these two is just like it's interest and not even covering the whole thing. So it's, it's just going to keep compounding. So I definitely have to redo that. So, my total debt payment for January is 945.24 plus $30.67 for a total of $975.91 that has gone towards um, debt repayment. Um, again, I'm going to change this format so that it works a little bit better um, so it can capture everything that I'm trying to capture. 
Um, and I have done a little quick little layout for the month of February. So this is what I'm gonna try to, or what I am going to utilize for February and going forward. So it captures everything that I needed to capture, I needed to track. So basically it'll be the starting balance, the minimum payment, any charges made, hopefully that's minimum to none, the finance charge, the additional payment, and then the ending balance. And I'm gonna do that both for my consumer debt snowball and then for my student, the student loan snowball. So that is what I have for this month's debt snowball. And um, hopefully I'll uh, uh, really uh, lock this in and I am, I, I'm really in uh, gazelle intent as Dave Ramsey likes to say, um, to pan off this snowball as, um, as, as soon as I can without, you know, without killing myself, I'm not gonna, I'm still gonna live. So that is it. And if you've made it to the end of this video, you already know you are a trooper. Thank you. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.